as smart technologies and water start to advance, the rest of the world has kind of been ahead of North America, but with AMI and the adoption of that and, and a lot of other technologies, North America is now pose, poised to become probably the leader in the world in smart technologies. So we, had, we were in this meeting and the GIS team and their survey team said, well, what about the use of drones? And somebody over here who's in our Delta office said, well, we'd love to use drones for looking at the Delta and, and maybe a, a fish counter. And so all of a sudden we sort of this, what some people, I think it was in Australia, talked about uh, in Queensland, Innovation Lounge they have there at Queensland. Um, it's where the general manager comes once a month and invites all the employees to come and sit in the lounge and just talk about their ideas. You know, what, what cool innovation things are you working on? And maybe that person across from you is interested in that project and maybe you can team up. So we're seeing more and more of that at our agency collaboration and I think that's going to benefit all of us. So without changing our renewal rate, just making data-driven decisions, we've been able to drop non-revenue water really down you know, pretty significantly, and it's still dropping. I mean, I don't know how low we're going to get it, but it's still coming down. And, and literally, I can go through each one of these buckets and show you how the data we had before was driving decisions which today look kind of foolish. But this has been a great, I'm, I have a little presentation, but all day I've been just taking notes about how, how much stuff is happening out there. And so I'm just amazed that, you know, the vendors, the experts, Qualcomm, everybody else. And so it's really, it's a, it's a breath of fresh air of where we're going. Yeah.